Bible. Right. All right, we teach them how to love, how yes. to care for children. Right. All right, how to you love the other woman. woman. Yes, that's what we do. We teach these things the to what? No, no, us. no. Yes, the serpent the taught you, taught and us. that's why you and are where you are today. You. That's right. Hey, Harvey, come back. That's a, that's a distraction. That's a distraction. You sister. sister, what's your name? Queen. Queen. Okay. Uh, what's your last name? This is my title. All right, that's your title. What's your last name? I want to be referred to. All right, you. Most of us have last names from from this right name? here, slavery. What's Jesus' last name? Most of us have last names from slavery. You understand? <laughs> All right. Jesus was from the tribe of Judah. He knew his nationality. All right. So the point that I'm making right now is that the names that we have have come from slavery. All right. They have come from slavery. You do know his mother. I can tell you that his father was the nation of Israel. You know that in Luke chapter one about they came to bless his mama. I'm gonna show something for you. You do know his mother. Hey, you do know hey, she was chosen, hey, right? Hey, Queen, we gonna show you something, Queen. Just listen right. good. We gonna show you something, Queen. You know what's right? Queen, listen good, Queen. Yeah. Listen good, you, Queen. You know Mother Larry, right? Just stay with me, Queen. You, hey, you hug, I want you to listen to this too, all right? You know, we gonna read something. We gonna read something Mary. about Mary and the people that came to Mary. You know we gonna read something about Mary and the people that came right. to Mary. Queen, listen. Read what you got. Luke chapter 11, verse 27. And it came to pass. As he spake these things, come on. a certain woman, a certain woman, come on, of the company lifted up her voice. What did she say? Come on. And said unto him, Blessed is the womb. Blessed is who? Blessed is the womb. The womb that the woman has. Come on. Yeah, what's that? That bear thee. That bear thee. Blessed is the womb that bear thee. Come on. Like that 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 thee. Come on. Like that for and the paps which thou hast sucked. <laughs> and, that, and that, you know, the breast that the woman, that the baby sucked, right? It's Talking blessed. about Christ. It's blessed. Blessed, ble blessed, blessed be Mary and the, and, and the breast that, 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 that gave the child milk. And blessed be the exactly. womb that carried the Messiah. Come on. But he said. But who said? Come on. Yay. Rather blessed are they that hear the word of God. Blessed are they. Rather. That means don't worship that. Wait. Worship this right here. That's right. right. And keep it. Can I say something? No. Come on. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, this is an evil generation. No, read it again. Yeah, 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 change the subject. Now, Verse 28. And he said, yeah, rather, blessed are they. So, rather than bless the womb and the pack uh, that uh, gave yeah, them milk. That was blessed first. Right. Listen, rather that than bless, blessed first. Rather than bless the Don't womb and the, and the pack that Don't gave the baby that. milk, uh -huh. you need to be blessed in this. Come on. Okay, what do you mean? Let me hear the word of God. You need to be blessed in hearing the word. Word of God. Right. Right. Just, verse, just, just one Eleven, verse twenty-seven. I'm gonna let you make this statement. Just listen. Here, come on. The womb. That's all I want to ask. Verse twenty-eight. And he question. said, "Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it." That's right. So blessed are they that hear the word of God and do it. Get Genesis chapter one about the woman being from man. Is that chapter one, verse twenty-six? Is there anyone who came out about the? I'm gonna show you where the woman came from. The, okay. About the woman coming from uh, okay. Hold on Queen Hold on Queen that came to this earth Yeah about She was created from okay. from Yeah Read what you got Genesis chapter 1 I don't one, care how old he was He came Yeah read that Read that Come on so Genesis chapter 2 like Verse 21 Listen good Queen It's about the woman Come on and the room which the Lord God had taken from man. So where did the woman come from? She came from man. Yes, right. Not his wait, womb. Wait, wait, All right? Wait. The woman came from the man. Yes, right. That's where the woman came from. Wait. You was asking about the womb you said that you the woman carries. Right. And the woman came from the man's rib. Yes, That's right. where she came you from. Right. Come on. Read it again. Verse 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man. So God took a rib from man. Come on. Made he a woman. What did he create? Made he a woman. Then he made a woman. Come on. Y'all scared to And brought her unto the man. Come on. And Adam said. This is what Adam said to the woman that was created from his rib. Come on. This is now bone of my bone. Adam said this is bone. Bone of my bone, come on. And flesh of my flesh. And now she's flesh of my flesh. She was taken from my rib. Come on. She 
shall be called. Listen to what I'm going to name her. Come on. She shall be called woman. She shall be called woman. Why? Why? Why did he call her woman? Come on. Because, listen good, she was taken out of man. Woman means out of man. There's no way you get a woman without having a man first. Her whole purpose is to, is, to, is to be a help to the man. That's her whole purpose. She don't have another purpose on this earth outside of the man. She don't exist. She got to bow down to a man. Now you can speak, Queen. Thank you, God. Let me tell you about that story you just told. That's not God. That's the Lord God. What are we reading? Are you reading? We're reading the Holy slow Bible. Down, slow down. We're I'm going to tell you about the Bible. I'm going to tell you about the Bible. Bible. Okay, Genesis 1. Genesis 1 through 28. That talks about a different creation. Okay? What you're reading is... One Genesis. creation wait a minute, that we're reading wait about. Wait a minute. You it's in, it's wait in a minute. Genesis I chapter 1. You. All right? Genesis chapter and 2. Genesis chapter 2. The Lord That's God goes about. east and makes a garden. And creates a Get man. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1, so we can yeah. show her yeah. what's happening. You better go reread that. Because, because the day is the Sabbath I'm from day. The first God All right? So we're going to show you what's happening in Genesis chapter 2. Go back two. and read. All right? The Bible yeah, says, go, 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 go. All right? You said Genesis chapter 2. Go. We're going to read it for you. Read what you got. Read Genesis 1 to 8 first. Chapter 2. What? Verse what? Two. Come on. And on the seventh verse verse one. Verse one. Come on. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. And all finished. the host of them. That's my question. So what was happening in Genesis chapter 2? Creation there. was happening. That was finished. No, it was and finished. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. God ended his work the on the seventh creation. day. Right? You better go back and read all right. that. Because right. right. I came on that creation. On, on the seventh day, oh. creation was finished. Right? No, and he rested right. on Let the seventh read. day. All the work was done. Verse Let day one read. through verse six. Let All the work was done day one through verse okay. six. Then read. on the seventh day, God rested, right? Come on. You were scared and he read. rested on the seventh day from okay. all his work which he had made. Uh -huh. And God blessed the seventh day. God did what? Bless the seventh day uh -huh. and sanctify. Today is the seventh day. Okay. It's sanctified. Let you know what that means? You ain't supposed to be buying today. You ain't supposed to be selling nothing today. Let if you buy it today, you in sin. You need to repent. Right. If you buy it, if you cooking today, you in sin. You need right. to repent. If you not fellowshipping today, you in sin. You need to repent. Right. You understand? Today is the Sabbath day, Queen. That's right. Today is the Sabbath day. Okay. All right. So you in sin if you just went in Family Dollar and bought some groceries. Right. All right. Come on. Because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Right, in it, right? God blessed this day on, and he rested on. on a, he rested uh, from everything he created and made. Right, that's what he did on the seventh day. All right, come on. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord God made heaven, made earth and the heavens. That's what you wanted, Queen. This ain't getting no better for you, Queen. All right? All the creation was made day one through day six. God rested on the seventh day. All right? This is the KJV version of the Bible. It's a standard Bible. That's chapter two. That's chapter two right there. That was verses one through three, four. Where is the Lord going to go to the east? What you want to know? What you want to know? The Lord goes to the east to create the Lord. That's when they got kicked out of the garden. No, 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 I ain't talking about that. What you talking about? I'm talking about Genesis. What, what's the point that you want to make? That way I can help you. Okay. There you go. I'm trying to tell you. Go ahead. Genesis 1, chapters 1 to 28, talks about a divine creation. Genesis 2 talks about the Lord God goes to the east and creates the garden. There's two creations. It's one creation. All right, and God created many things. You, you all can right, read that when you get time. yeah, it's one creation. All right, it's one creation. We just read about, we just read about everything being finished on the sixth day. All creations was made on the sixth day. All right, on the sixth day. So we gonna stay right there. Now, give me Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two. I gotta talk to you about something, Queen. Since you're listening, since you said I got your attention now, we are gonna talk to you about something, Queen. All right, we are gonna make it plain for you today, cause this is very plain. This is a deep book, but these commandments. They plain. That's they straight right. commandments. Right. All right, come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 25, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. Hold it and read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. Queen, pay attention. Queen, queen, queen. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Listen, 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 listen. Queen, listen, listen. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to tell you where we at. Read it again. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, 
verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The Bible says that a woman should not wear that which pertains to a man. What type of things do you have on right now? You understand? What type of things do you have on right now that pertain to men? All right? That pertain to men. What does Deuteronomy mean? Deuteronomy. It's the book of the law. All right. Now, what type of things? The yes, priests. the Israelites. The what? Yes, the now, Israelites. All right. The listen, listen. Do you wear pants, Queen? Do you wear pants? Yes or no? So that refers. Do you wear pants? Yes or no? Do you wear pants? Check it out. Yes now. or no? Deuteronomy is after right. Levi listen. and his family. Do you family. wear pants? Who the priests? Yes or no? Are, okay? All right. So that's not a law for all men. That's get First Timothy chapter two. Thank you. you. Get First Timothy no, chapter two. Go back to what I was saying. Right. But right. You got it. What chapter was it? Right, 1 Timothy chapter 2. Uh, I want modest apparel. I want women to do themselves in modest apparel. Wait, I want to make my point clear. Listen, listen, I'm going to show you something. All right? Let me show you something. I'm going to be a sweat. Let me show you something. Right, right. I'm going to teach you the God's laws. You understand? Read you got. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. God said women should dress modest. Are you dressed modest here today? Are you dressed modest here today? No, Queen, you're not, not dressed modest. Me. You're, I'm answering my question because you won't answer me. We gotta go back to two and eight. Are you going to dress modest? Are you dressed I'm modest out here today? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.